In action now, nerfed a little bit or changed a little bit, and it, in the end, becomes German. Good old top lane where there are like 20 viable picks right now. You can just yeah. throw them out left and right. Everyone has different opinions on what you need to play. Where Haunter will be going aggressive first, and this is the right setup for a counter gank if G2 wants it. First blood is on the cards. Knockup finds nobody, but Sven Skirin is unborrowed. Cocoon lands. First blood is going to be available and picked up by Haunter. Sven Skirin is not going to die. He sinks the fangs in. Finally, no fighting. To expect. expect gets six as well. The bounty is mana. Back. The minions are working in his favor. Body slam finds a target. Haunter's running for his life. Flashes to safety. Smart. CS players coming into. Rift Rivals, I'll talk about that in a moment. Yeah, he has to wait now. Because all of a yeah. sudden, the barrel comes out. That's a good, good stun. stun into the wall. Cataclysm comes down, but Haunter's got no flash. And G2, make that look easy. Wait, but they also know Cleanse is down. So if Bjergsen flashes for the taunt, they're going to try and get a gank with Elise. That's a flash over the wall. Follow flash from Bjergsen. Taunts come out. Winds of War and the Cocoon. Team Solo mid get their first kill in the mid lane. Spin is the the splash. That return gank is coming. And actually, with the way they dove through the turret, I think the counter gank could have been quite strong. I actually feel like we see this quite often from G2, but let's talk about it after, because top lane, three men. Well, Alex Beck's just going to die. Heroic entrance into the taunt and a justice punch to secure the kill. TSM with a strong advantage. Yes. If you look down the list, Team Solomon with a strong early game yet again against G2. Trick's going to get caught by the cocoon. Devour's available. Stand behind me gets used, as does the uh, uh -oh. Now Sven Scare is the target. He jumped in with the repel, gets killed. Killed by Sven. Support comes in for Team Solo mid. Bjergsen decides. Yeah, this could also be turret. But look at the supports on the minimap. Team Solo mid coming in. Abyssal Voyage is going to deliver Sven Skirin and Biofrost. Sven is the target, but it's Trick and Mithy taking all the damage. Spectre is here. Just two. Here comes Expect. Needs to oh, use the barrel. Really reset hard. Gets rid of double lift. Hornsa locks Sven inside the Cataclysm as Bjergsen takes him down. That's a double kill for Bjergsen. Cocoon on the back end. Secures another kill for TSM. We talked about how Tom Kenz and... and as it stands... The tension continues to build. G2 looking to re-engage. The Unburrow gets two. There's a body slam as well. Perks are scattered the week, not the greatest. And the taunt only catches expect. This is good for G2 Esports. Mithy's the target. Has the unbreakable block. Some damage. And Sven takes down Hansa. It's MSI all over again. Yeah, it's a decision. Now, though, Hansa are on ward. They know that they're baiting for a fight. Let's see it. Hansa gets tagged up. Sorry, Deficios, he is caught to the Unbarra. The Void Ooze buys a couple seconds of time as the hero's entrance comes down. Trick is the target, 300 HP. Great Cataclysm from Hornsa. Sven with the flash manages to escape. Perks takes down Sven Skerin. Bjergsen trying to get onto Sven. Mithy's on the front line with the help of Expect, and everybody from TSM is low. Winds of War Sven. tagging on Sven, but he's unkillable. That's a double kill for Perks. Looking for more from TSM. Good force here, and G2 has to answer. If they fight, Watch to see if Sven gets jumped on. Well, that's what I'm looking for. There's the fight. Broom comes up. Perks is the target. He used the flash earlier. TSM with all the tools available. Easily take down. Very, very well. I love the fact that they know TSM can't kill Baron quickly, but now they're oh, it's happening. The flash. Sven is the target. Not going to be able to escape this time round, but the knockback is more time. Sven is taken down by Hornsor and Bjergsen as they double up. Defensive moves from the rest of G2. Knock up under the tower. Perks manages to cleanse and till Sven Skerin gets that venomous bite. Resets from double lift. Rocket jump into flash. Trick is the target. Red buff bursting away as he rocket Are you ready? They they instantly engage with G2 walking up that mid lane. Hanser and Bjergsen with the synergy this time around. They actually win the fight. They get the Baron. I don't know how it took them so long. It's very simple. You use the Jarvan ult on the Kog'Maw and Galio ults after. You're done. Then you win the Frozen ult and the Goggles stone plate. Hanser's got a Goggles of his own and the Thorn Mail. Cocoon will cost Mithy his life. There's the Triss damage coming through, finally. Really easily set up by Tia. A massive gold advantage, and more importantly, open that mid lane as well with the inhib. They're going for another tower. So All right. fight. Scatter the weak comes out. I'm looking for Expect Barrel to split up TSM. There it is. Biofrost is on the front line, but double lift remains unkilled. Sven is untouched. Perks has got one. That was a three or four man stun. Bjergsen's a target of Sven, while the rest of G2 try to get TSM. This will buy some time as Bjergsen maintains his life for a few seconds longer. Ooh. Double lift flashes forward for the kill.
But Flash Economic Cogma still has the rocket jumps. Trip got a little bit ambitious at the end of that fight. Rexai ulting to chase onto double lift while the rest of G2 was dealing with Bjergsen and a re-engage. What? Oh, what? Oh, what? Gonna go what? Down. <laughs> that flag and drag was just uh, sell the dragon engaged. They're just gonna go for this. They have two Drakes right now and they know they got resetting G2 very slow. That was a hard reset, but G2 completely abandoning. We give it over to TSM after. Engage coming in from Onto from the side right there. That fourth two flashes once again from the carries and G2 Esports. The fun thing about this game is the first fight you take, as long as you get Ooh. flashes, that's almost a win in itself for the next one. And they're actually going straight for Baron. Yeah, they do not have a control ward. They're sweeping their approach, but they do not see that Why ward Frost in the back. Sweep so G2 though. knows it's there, but Trick is on the wrong side of the map. This is Baron too. Yeah, easily secured despite expect having teleports. TSM get Eldritch up on the flank. He's got flash available to him and can look for another cataclysm in the river. It was so impactful. Instead, Ons is just going to walk right in. Flag and drag for the engage. Gets it down onto Spurks. And Sven, heroic entrance. This has to be the game. Sven scares the target. Alive. How is Sven not dead? The time is down. Sven stays alive. The stun comes down. And finally, Sven and Perks are killed. The North American LCS are taking down EU. Expect and Trick are running for their lives. Believe me. G2, this game is over. 41 minutes in, they get the initiation once again on Sven. Deficio, we talked a lot about what they should do. Well, they did it. They pulled off the initiation. And that's why they're winning. That's going to be the game. The Nexus turrets are falling as Double Lift hops forward, unkilled, untouched, and unthreatened. Team Solo Mid strike first in Rift Rivals 2017. Got to feel slightly satisfying for TSM. It's no MSI victory, but they still, as Deficio, as Quickshot said, strike first here at MSI with the Galio, mm. with double lift on a hyper carry. Stalled out a little bit in the mid to late game against G2, but they do take him down. Yeah, they have to find the right engages and kind of figure out okay, how are we actually going to set up these fights. And in the end, they figured it out, you know, go on to Sven with Galio and Jarvan at the same time. Have you guys heard the saying, the more things change, the more they stay the same? We go from Brazil.